Okay, in this video we're going to do roots and powers using the TI-34 multi-view. Okay, so in this one, let's do the square root of 8 first. There's an index of 2 here, all right? And so all the square roots that don't, doesn't have a number, it means it has a 2. Just like this one, this button, this is a square root, but it doesn't have an index of 2. So how do we do this problem? We take the square root, we put 8, we put we press enter, and gives the answer, 2.828, okay. Next one, this is the third root of 1.81. Over here next to the caret key on the top, you have x square root. So we press three, second caret, and automatically puts it as the third root of what? 1.81, enter, 1.218, okay, let's do this one, this is the fifth root of half, so we take 5, second, caret, and then gives you, we're going to do um, fraction, 1, bring it down, 2, and then enter, see that, uh, point, uh, 8705. Now, in this video, we're not going to tell you how many values to put after the decimal place. Your teacher will tell you about that. That's, uh, that's one. Uh, two, if you like the content so far, please give it a thumbs up. Please tell your teacher. Please uh, share it with your friends. Okay. Next one. Let's do this one. This is three take away. And then we we'll put four or for the fourth root, second, caret, right? Because that's going to give you the sub menu. Eight, enter. 1.3182. Okay. Let's do this one. This one's the square root of 12. And then you're still inside the, the root. Press the arrow key that way, plus to the right. And then square root of what? 27. Enter. 8.660. Okay. The next problem, it looks complicated, but it's pretty straightforward. You got to press the negative key first, then 5, second, caret. So this is a negative fifth root of what? 16, right? Divided by, divided by, ah, See, I made a mistake there. This division is inside, so what we're going to do is we're going to delete that and press the uh, tab. This, uh, um, I'll remember, it's, it's, it's some type of joystick. Um, we, we move it outside of the root, divided by, okay, 14, enter, and then you get negative 0, 0.124. Perfect. Next one. 3 squared. Enter. 9. Straightforward. 9 to the 5th power. 9. We use the caret key. It's right here. This one. Caret. To the 5th. Enter. 59049. If you're interested, other calculators like these do not have um, the algebraic look that this one has. Look, this one has how many? Like three lines that you can see, while the TI-30X, which is the lower version, doesn't. Okay, uh, let's do this one. Negative four times three squared. Enter, negative 36. So it's doing the proper um, order of operation, right? 3 squared is 9, negative 4 times 9 is negative 36. Let's look at this one. Negative 5, not subtract 5, negative 5 squared. Enter. It gives you negative 25. Why? Well, it's doing 5 times 5, which gives you 25, and then the negative. It's not doing negative 5 times negative 5. Okay? This calculator, I believe, does that. Okay, this one's not an algebraic calculator, by the way. This one is. So why why is that important? 
because here the calculator when you do 7 take away 5 squared and you enter it's going to do the order operation correctly 5 squared 25 7 take away 25 is negative 18 okay let's do this one 2 to the power of negative 3 enter and that's going to give you 1 over 8 um, if you want 0.125, I haven't found a, let me see, I don't, oh, here it says fraction to decimal, let's press that, right, take this fraction, go fraction to decimal, enter, ah, oh, look, it did it, okay, good. One thing you could do also, I guess, if you scroll up uh, to this, right, let's enter that. And you put a period right here, and then you enter. See, it gives you the decimal equivalent. Sometimes that works, sometimes that doesn't. Okay, 3 to the 4th equals the 4th root of 3. These two are equivalent. Okay, one has a power, one has a root. And this is why we study powers and roots together, because they're equivalent to each other. Well, in this case. So how do we do this one? Then this is 3 caret, then n over d, right? 1, bring it down, 4, enter 1.316, or the fourth root, press 4, second, caret, 3, enter 1.316. Perfect. Next one, over here, this is uh, 2 to the 3rd divided by 5 squared to the power of 2. So we're going to put parentheses, 2 to the power of 3. Here we got to move it down to divide, 5 squared, close it, and then I'm going to square again. You can use the caret key if you like, but I'm going to use squared here. Enter. It's going to give you 64 over 625. Why? 2 to the 3rd is 8. 5 squared is 25. 8 squared is 64. 25 squared is 625. But I want the answer, right? I want 0 0.1027, um, 0 0.1024. Well, we do that again. We press 2nd, N over D, right? Take that fraction and change it to a decimal. Boom. There it is. All right. So a lot of steps. One thing you have to keep in mind that um, I've been doing this for a long time, so it, it's a little more natural for me. But when you first do this, it's going to be a little bit challenging. So you got to keep with the same calculator as much as you can. Um, so one thing is Yes, you can write down the steps and start memorizing mu muscle memory, how to do it. Um, different calculators have different ways of calculating this. And so, um, you know, I got some more videos on different calculators that you can look at. If you like this content, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, please tell your teachers. Please tell your friend. There's a lot more here. Um, math uh, and if there's a comment please put it in the comment section down there all right i'll see you later bye bye